Mes chers amis, quand notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ My dear friends, when our Lord Jesus Christ goes to the lake of Genesaret, when he boarded that boat with Saint Peter and returned ashore after having caught many fish, he told Saint Peter, From now on you will no longer be a regular fisherman, but you will be a fisher of men. A fisher of men. In these are troubled times, in this world where there are so many wars, divisions in the world and in the church as well, in society, homes and families. We need vocations, priestly and religious vocations, young and not so young people who are willing to become fishers of men after the example of Saint Peter. De vocations sacerdotales et religieuses, des jeunes et des moins jeunes. We need souls who feel concerned about other souls, about the souls that need to be saved. Sacerdotal vocations, priests. We need priests. Listen, we have need of priests. There are no more priests. There are fewer and fewer. Our churches are being closed down. Also souls, the schools are being closed down, convents are being closed down, they are being sold. Some people open restaurants in them. There is something terribly wrong here. Our society is decadent. Christ is relegated. They keep him out of it. They no longer listen to his voice. We need priests, but priests according to the heart of Jesus not according to the heart of men. Priests truly according to the heart of God. Poor priests, ah yes. Poor priests, humble priests. Humility, indispensable priestly humility. Indispensable in order to have good priests, dedicated priests, give their lives unto blood, unto tears, unto the suffering of the body and of the heart. Priests animated with the love of Jesus Christ, not the love of the world, not the love of the pleasures of the world. No, the priest is another Christ, persona Christi, another Christ. He is the person of Christ. He is Christ in this world. Ah, uh, no, a priest sacrificed after the example of the Saint Carreras, of Saint John Bosco, of Saint Vincent de Paul. The Saint Jean Bosco. The Saint Vincent Paul. Priests who go towards the poor, who look at the poor, who are not afraid to get dirty when they go to the poor. Priests whose souls are animated with the love of the poor. Like Saint Vincent de Paul and all the others, like Saint Jerome Emilian, like Saint Camillus of Lillis. Priests who go to the sick, who are available at all times, any time in the day or night, not only from such hour to such hour. This is not sacerdotal. A priest remains a priest around the clock, day and night, available day and night for the poor, for the sick, for those who come and ring at his door, who get on the phone asking for a priest. Send me a priest, I am dying. Send me a priest, my mother is about to die. Send me a priest, I am suffering. Being available, having available priests, humble priests, poor priests, priests who go to the poor, who live with the poor, who visit places of destitution, places of destitution where poverty and sadness prevail. Priests who cry with those who cry, priests who suffer with those who suffer, priests who, when evening comes, have trouble falling asleep because they have seen destitution because they have not saved the souls as was necessary. Priests who are not worldly, who don't go places to have fun while the souls are being lost, who don't go on vacation, who don't go on recreation trips while the souls are being lost. Priests animated with the love of Christ, the love of Christ who gave himself wholly to all. Priests who give themselves wholly to all, with no distinction of race, class, creed or financial status. No, priests animated with the love of Christ, 
true priest. As Saint Father Pope used to say, true priests animated with the spirit of the gospel. Les vrais prêtres animés de l'esprit de l'évangile. This Father Pope, a Belgian priest, a holy priest, who died of exhaustion and of a heart attack, so much that he gave himself to the poor, to sinners, to those who suffered. He used to go to neighborhoods of destitution, and he would pay these people visits and succor them and tell them about our Lord Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary, whom he loved so much, whom he loved so much. He would say this often, Mother, show us that thou art our mother. Help me go to the poor, to go to sinners. Let's look at the Saint Curé of Ars, who used to spend his life relieving spiritual poverty through his confessions, so to speak. He would spend hours hearing confessions, absolving sins. Everybody came to him, the humble Curé of Ars. They did not want him when he was young at the seminary. They used to say he was not intelligent enough to learn Latin or to do this or that. And however, his great humility, his love of Christ made of him the patron saint of all priests. Son amour du Christ en a fait le patron de tous les prêtres. He had no time for himself, no time at all, either day or night, for he was always available, up at three in the morning or even earlier. He would sleep two or three hours. But why? Why would he sleep so little? Because he felt concerned for the souls, souls to be saved. Indeed, priests, the priest must feel concerned for the souls to be saved. Why did he sleep so little? Why was there so much penance in the holy curé of ours? Why would he practice scourging on himself? Why would he sleep on a wooden bed, on a straw mattress? Why would he eat so little? A few rather moldy potatoes, which he would cook for the entire week. Why all this? Why so many prayers in front of the blessed sacrament? Why whole hours spent his arms stretched out in the shape of a cross, imploring mercy for sinners, for humankind, before the crucifix. Why? Because he felt concerned for the souls to be saved. He wanted to bring the souls back to Christ. And they cannot be brought back to Christ with honey or with jam. You have to pay the price. And the priest must pay the price. And such price is the price of suffering, the price of the cross, the price of penance. Nous ne pouvons atteindre les âmes et les ramener au Christ. We just can't reach the souls and bring them back to Christ without prayer, without penance, without sacrifice, without being sacrificed people. The priest is sacrificed. Those who want to become priests ought to know that. At least with us, they must be sacrificed, being holy to Christ, poverty, poverty, chastity, and obedience. Three vows that have tied us to Christ. Three wonderful, extraordinary vows that bound us to Christ, that we may be other Christs. Ah, brethren, my friends, we need priests. Look at Padre Pio. All what he experienced, the martyrdom of persecution, but he remained faithful to Christ. Martyrdom he experienced, a terrible martyrdom in his soul and in his body. The martyrdom of persecution, misunderstood and neglected by his brothers. Relegated, banned from celebrating mass banned from hearing confessions, the jealousy of a portion of the clergy. But he would forgive. He forgave those who made him suffer because he lived truly the passion of Christ in his wounds, in his body, in his soul, under all its forms. And persecution is also the great sacrifice of many. Persecution is the suffering of the heart. Persecution means identifying oneself to our Lord Jesus Christ. La persécution, c'est la souffrance du cœur. La persécution, c'est s'identifier. Misunderstood and neglected and persecuted by the high priest. Brethren, we are going to pray, for much prayer is needed in this time of the end of times we are experiencing. Indeed, we are in the end of times. We ought to acknowledge it when we see all these foreboding phenomena. We need priests. We don't have any more priests. But we shall be given priests if we pray with all our strength, all our hearts, if we sacrifice ourselves through penance, 
by depriving ourselves of certain things that we shall offer the good God through the hands of the Immaculate Virgin, this good mother who is the mother of priests, the mother of priests. Cette bonne mère qui est la mère des prêtres. La mère des prêtres. How many times in her apparitions in Freshu didn't she come to say that she was the mother of priests, the mother of priesthood, the one that protects priests because the devil always attacks priests in a particular way? These chosen souls, these souls who need a special protection from the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, the mother of the sovereign priest, the Christ. Of course, attacked from all sides. The Catholic priesthood is attacked on all sides. The priest is attacked in his heart, in his body. Temptation from the devil makes him suffer terribly. But he will be strong and he must be strong because Christ sustains him. The mother of Christ sustains him. Being sustained by this good mother, the priest can advance towards his Lord and his God and tell him, Jesus, I love thee. Jesus, I want to save the souls. Jesus, I am holy thine. Holy thine. The priest is holy Christ, persona Christi. The priest must be holy Christ. He must be holy given to others and nothing left to himself. Holy to others. Holy to Christ. Pour être tout aux autres. Tout aux autres. Rien pour lui. The priest, nothing for himself. Nothing for himself, but everything to save souls, everything to save souls. The souls are being lost. Satan comes to get the souls. They go to hell more and more. Many souls are going to hell. An immense multitude each day, and the priest is here to save them, to bring them back to the divine crucified. So, priests must be up to their task. They must be holy Christ at all times, everywhere and on a 24-hour basis, belonging to our Lord Jesus Christ, a life entirely given to our Lord Jesus Christ. The priest is another Christ. The priest must save the souls. The priest is an example in the community. He must be an extraordinary example of poverty, humility, and humility above everything else. I beg you, humility. Humility above all. Humility and chastity, of course. Obedience and the spirit of penance, the spirit of sacrifice. Et l'esprit de pénitence, l'esprit de sacrifice. The priest must be sacrificed like our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray and supplicate for priestly vocations to come and save the souls. Brethren, through our prayers, our prayers and our sacrifices, we shall obtain holy souls from heaven, souls that are willing to give themselves to God in the priestly and religious life. Let's not forget religious life either all these nuns who give themselves to Christ and who give themselves to others. But we shall speak of this again another day. Let us pray and sacrifice ourselves to obtain priests, holy priests. Mother, show us that thou art our mother, priests, O oh Jesus. Mère, montrez que vous êtes notre mère, des prêtres Jésus, de vrais prêtres.